The Crimson Piercing Light, Zeta, is an offensive character that has a full screen projectile, parry, 8 way dash attacks, and strong Oki. Zeta also possesses far reaching normals with her spear and decent corner carry. And with meter, Zeta can confirm stray hits into ultimate skills that allow her to perform high damaging combos from anywhere on screen. Zeta is for players who want aggressive tools, strong Oki, and hard to challenge pressure. Zeta's unique action is Signal Drive. Pressing U will cause Zeta to attack repeatedly with her spear. Mashing U will extend the duration of the stabs. This attack leaves Zeta minus 2 on block and creates space between her and the opponent the longer she attacks. This is mainly used as a block string tool to hide their frame trap or keep Zeta at a safe distance after her pressure. 236 Infinite Wonders is a laser beam projectile. Compared to most fireballs in the game, this special has near instant travel time, making it one of the stronger pokes in the game. The light version comes out the fastest at 20 frames and is your standard poke tool to use from mid to full screen. The medium version comes out slower at 28 frames but can be held to delay the shot. Use this version when your opponent instinctually dodges the start of animation and get a punish. The heavy version comes out the fastest at 18 frames, has 2 hits, and wall bounces in the corner. This is a versatile tool that is used for additional poking or for comboing in the corner and following up with close heavy. The ultimate version comes out at 9 frames, beats out all non-ultimate projectiles, ends in a hard knockdown, and can even be comboed off of. With 75 meter, it is possible to combo into 623U from even full screen and pull off high damaging combos. 623 Spear of Arvis is a dash attack that goes straight forward. On hit, block, or whiff, Zeta can perform a follow-up dash attack by holding any direction and pressing any normal button. This is one of Zeta's safe block string and hit confirm tools that has good corner carry, unique movement, and can extend combos with certain setups. The light version comes out at 16 frames, allows for one follow-up dash, and is used to confirm off of far light and stronger normals. The medium version comes out slower at 19 frames, allows for one follow-up dash, deals more damage, and can only combo from auto combo, far heavy, and counter hit medium normals. The heavy version allows Zeta to perform two dash follow-ups. The special grants more corner carry, causes a knockdown, can extend combos, and sets up Oki. On hit, Zeta has different direction combinations that lead into certain Oki setups, more on this in the next section. The ultimate version will go for a fast 13 frame attack. On hit, Zeta will go into a cinematic that wall bounces the opponent directly in front of Zeta. This can be used as a fast gap closer and confirm from 2 through 6 u Zeta can confirm into far medium, far heavy, or 2 medium off the wall bounce. U2, Spear of Arvis, Rise, is similar to 623 specials, but Zeta will attack upwards at varying angles. Similar to 623 specials, the light and medium versions allow for one follow-up attack, while the heavy version allows for two. This special can be used as an anti-air, but will generally be a hit confirm tool used to extend combos. This special has a separate cooldown from 623 specials, but shares the same cooldown as Jump to 2 specials. The light version will send Zeta into the air at a 30 degree angle. The medium version will have Zeta attack straight up. The heavy version will send Zeta at the same angle as the light version. This will be the go-to combo tool in the corner. The ultimate version will send Zeta into the air at a 30 degree angle. This will go into a cinematic on hit, but will not bounce the opponent back to Zeta. Zeta can combo with 236 and 623 specials mid-screen and close normals in the corner. This can also be used for a hard knockdown in the corner, higher damage, and sets up a safe jump. Jump 2-2, Spear of Arvis, Fall, shares the same cooldown as the grounded version, but Zeta will attack downwards at varying angles. Similar to 623 specials, the light and medium versions allow for one follow-up attack, while the heavy version allows for two. These attacks can be used to either confirm off of air-to-air -air hits, bait throws, or attack at unconventional angles that the opponent can't challenge easily. The light version will send Zeta down at a 45 degree angle. The medium version will have Zeta attack straight down. The heavy version will send Zeta at the same angle as the light version. The ultimate version also goes at a 45 degree angle. This attack bounces the opponent lower to the ground, but can still combo into 236 or 623U. 2 and 4, Rhapsody, is a parry that guards against high, mid, low, or all properties, and has 3 follow-up attacks on hit or whiff. While this move is a weaker reversal that can be played around, it also has its applications in combos, Oki setups, and pressure from mid-screen. The strength and properties of the follow-up attacks are dependent on the initial normal used. Light Rhapsody guards against mid and high attacks starting on the third frame. This is a decent reversal that covers 2 out of 3 move properties and can even combo with the right follow-up. Medium Rhapsody only guards low attacks starting on the third frame. This is a riskier counter that loses to mid hits. 
Heavy Rhapsody will be the go-to counter that guards all move properties. This armor also comes out at frame 1, making it the most reliable reversal. The light and medium follow-up attacks from this version are enhanced and allow for combo extensions in the corner. Ultimate Rhapsody also guards all move properties except for throws. This version cannot go into any of the normal follow-ups on hit or whiff. On hit, Zeta will attack with a slash that will go into a cinematic. Unlike the normal versions, the opponent cannot cancel their normals on hit, which will guarantee hits up close. Keep in mind that the attack has fairly short range and can be triggered by projectiles which leave Zeta punishable. For a safe jump, micro walk forward, jump forward, and land with a jump heavy. The light follow-up is Crimson Cleave. This is the slowest follow-up attack that has very far horizontal reach. When performed from 2 on 4 heavy, this attack will wall bounce the opponent which allows for corner combos. This attack is best used from whip 2 on 4 specials from mid-screen to catch opponents trying to run in to punish or combo in the corner. The medium follow-up is Rising Split. This attack has high vertical reach and faster than the light version. This attack is air unblockable, making it a decent anti-air when your opponent jumps in while Zeta is parrying. At high heights, Zeta can combo with far medium or 6 3 specials. On counter hit, the opponent will be sent higher into the air which grants the same combo opportunities. When performed from 2 on 4 heavy, this attack will hit the opponent high enough into the air for Zeta to combo with a close normal in the corner. The heavy follow-up is Knee Assault. This attack launches Zeta into the air with a hitbox. This is the fastest follow-up attack that can combo from the light or medium versions of 2 and 4 specials with jump medium or heavy from anywhere on screen. Zeta can confirm into this special from full auto combos on crouching opponents. From 2 and 4 heavy, this attack only grants a combo opportunity in the corner. On hit, Zeta will send the opponent back mid-screen which resets neutral. This is also used after air techs to set up safe jumps or as a fast engage tool. Zeta's skybound art is Resolute Strike. This is a combo ending and reversal super that has Zeta perform a lunge attack. You will only get the cinematic and more damage off of close hits. This super can also be performed in the air but does not have iframes. This can be used to combo off of air-to-air -air hits or bait anti-air attempts with proper spacing. Zeta's super skybound art is Serious Roar. Zeta will perform a rising strike that has iframes at the start of the move, is air unblockable, and deals more damage on close hits. Zeta has unrelenting pressure that can set up tick throws, RPS situations, and hard to challenge Oki. Recognition of positioning and direction combinations with Spear of Arvis are the keys to maximizing Zeta's value. Also make sure to mix up your Oki and keep your opponent guessing on wake up. With her Spear, Zeta has exceptional range on her normals but tends to have slower startup. Farlight is a standard 6 frame attack that has plus 1 on block and has good reach. Because of the angle, this move can sometimes whiff on far or crouching opponents. Far medium is Zeta's farthest reaching normal. This is Zeta's poke, forward check, and space control tool that can confirm into 623 light or heavy on hit. Far heavy has less range than far medium plus 1 frame faster. This is another poke tool that leads into higher damaging combos on hit. Dash light is a standard plus 2 on block attack, and dash medium is a low that is safe on block when spaced correctly. 2U is a 2 hit low attack. Zeta can cancel this attack on either hit. The second attack causes a hard knockdown and has further reach than the first hit. Jump U is the cornerstone of Zeta's Oki. Zeta will extend her spear downwards similar to Jump Light. On hit or block, Zeta will bounce up and can repeat this normal up to 2 times. As a safe jump, this normal is very easy to identify a block and reversal. On block, Zeta will bounce up for more pressure. On a reversal, Zeta will fall to the ground and can block and punish. Once your opponent blocks the first JU, they will have to respect the threat of the second, third JU, jump heavy, or drop into low or grab. All versions of Spear of Arvis have their uses in combos and Oki. We will go over some direction combinations and their applications. On grounded opponents, using 623 heavy, 9 dash, then 6 dash, grants half screen corner carry. While you don't get a safe jump, Zeta will be able to dash up to the opponent as they recover. On airborne opponents, use 623 heavy, 8 dash, then 3 dash. In the corner, Zeta can confirm into 2 light and set up a medium 236 medium or a raging strike. In the corner, use 2 2 heavy, 8 dash, then whip the 2 dash to land fast. Zeta can then extend her combo with a close medium or 2 2 U enter. In the corner, use 6 3 heavy, 9 dash, then 2 dash to hit the opponent. Zeta can end the combo with 2 light and set up a meaty 236 medium or raging strike. On airborne opponents and after 2 hits of the auto combo, use 2 2 heavy, 8 dash, then whip the 3 dash. You can then confirm into close light light, cancel into 2 and 4 heavy heavy, and get a safe jump. 
Data can combo into both the grounded and air versions of Spear of Arvis to maximize corner carry, damage, and reach the combo limit for Oki setups. When using Spear of Arvis on block, the safest follow-up is the 4 dash. Opponents familiar with the matchup will chase Zeta down and force their turn. For an RPS situation, Zeta can attempt to catch the opponent running forward with a 6 dash, but this is punishable on block up close. If spaced properly, Zeta will be minus 4 on block and will be out of range of close normals. Especially with heavy versions, Zeta can move forward, forward, back for safe chip damage, or forward, back, forward to check the opponent. Additionally, J22 specials could be a strong tool to catch opponents instinctually grabbing in response to Zeta's run-up. When ending a corner combo with 2-2-U with a 2-light upon landing, we'll jump forward and land with a J-U which grants a safe jump. While Zeta does have oppressive pressure and neutral, her aggressive tools are somewhat slow and can only go forward. If Zeta tries to approach with her special moves, fast reactions with anti-airs, reversals, and supers can punish her for trying to get in. And with a parry reversal, her defensive options are somewhat lacking and can be exploited. If Zeta ever uses a 236 special from mid screen, the optimal punish is to simply jump forward and land with a falling air normal. From 3 fourths to full screen, you'll mainly have to react to the laser beam with a dodge. If you react to the startup animation, you may get caught with the medium version. There are different ways to counter Zeta if you use a Spear of Arvis to poke and block strings and keep herself safe. In neutral, some threatening engage tools are 623 and J22 specials. The ultimate versions especially grant high damaging combos and are also safe when spaced properly. In response to a raw normal Spear of Arvis, your best bet is to use a reversal. The 623 version always causes Zeta to move forward, so there is no threat of her baiting out this attack. If Zeta uses the ultimate version raw, spot dodge as soon as the blue flash starts. You will dodge the single hit and Zeta will be in range for a close normal to punish. On block, there is a gap in between the initial attack and the follow-up dash. If you know Zeta will go for the forward follow-up, you can challenge with the reversal. Spamming your reversal can get baited and punished if Zeta uses the retreating follow-up or no follow-up. If you know that Zeta is going for the retreating follow-up, you have a few options. While you don't get a full punish, you can run up while Zeta is recovering and pressure her with a dash light or far normal. Depending on the matchup, some characters can still punish Zeta with a fast ultimate projectile or full screen attack. When playing against Rhapsody, there are important properties to know that will help you play around this parry. Zeta's follow-ups will attack in the direction she is facing. Zeta will not auto-correct if you cross her up, which leaves you safe and can potentially punish her. All versions of Rhapsody, including the ultimate version, will always lead to throws. If your normal button hits the parry, you can still special cancel or dodge to avoid the follow-up. However, automatically going for these cancels can be punished. Zeta can delay the follow-up attack and can parry multiple hits. Zeta can parry reversals and punish you if you autopilot into these options. Safe jumps will still keep you safe from any of the follow-up attacks. You will have to be aware if Zeta delays the follow-up, which you can then counter with a grab. Against Zeta's Skybound Art, spot dodge on reaction to the Super Flash to avoid chip damage and punish with a close normal. Against Zeta's Super Skybound Art, Zeta will swap sides if you block close. Run up to her and punish with a close normal as she lands. Some Zeta players to watch are SQ, Elodius, and Shosan, 